today we are not making only an art journal page, uh, very grungy as you can see, but also I want to show you how very easily uh, you can make your own collage paper, tissue paper. Uh, some of you know already how to do it, for those who don't, stay tuned! It's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation, welcome to my channel. So this is a piece of tissue paper. Nowadays you can either buy it, uh, for example, on Amazon, uh, but the simplest way is just to, you know, find it uh, somewhere in your uh, goods you purchase. Uh, for example, shoes. Very often there are some pieces of tissue paper uh, which are in the shoe boxes. And so basically that's what you need, a piece of tissue paper, and uh, some permanent uh, ink. I use VersaFine uh, Onyx Black, uh, but you can also use Archival or uh, Stazon, whichever uh, ink you fancy, and also you can do it in colors. I prefer black because I find it goes with everything, so, uh, well, you know, I do it in black. And then you just take the uh, stamps you have in your stash, and it doesn't have to be stamps because the first one I used was a bit of uh, like a, a small piece of packaging. Uh, so you use whichever you fancy. You can use this, you know, um, this kind of bubble wrap foil also. And uh, a lot of packaging, you know, for cookies and stuff like that when they have this plastic uh, kind of box around them. Uh, very often they have very nice shapes on those boxes. Otherwise, I am using also the stamps. And the first one of the script was coming from uh, is coming from Flory uh, Lash Design. It's a French uh, company which is uh, making nice stamps. And then the red ones I'm using, for example, right now. But in general, the red ones uh, unmounted. They are from Viva Las uh, Vegas, um, and they are designed by uh, Didi Catron. And I'm also gonna be using some of my stamps. So uh, the thing is just, you know, you put them randomly on the paper, on the tissue paper. It, you don't overthink, you just fill up the empty spaces and that's the basic idea. Because later you're gonna do the collaging, so you're gonna basically tear bits and pieces of this paper and just, you know, use them in your collaging. Sometimes you just gonna decide on the particular piece from this uh, tissue. For example, you can decide uh, on using just the script part or using the circle, wobbly circle I'm doing uh, right now. But quite often, um, anyway, in my case, you're just gonna be using random pieces of uh, this tissue. And so the whole idea uh, is to just stamp away and fill up the empty spaces because you don't really need an empty spaces Mm, uh, for what you are doing, uh, otherwise you just use uh, empty tissue paper to get some, uh, for example, texture in the background. And uh, this is basically all. And you can gonna see the result, the end result is just uh, really, really, really beautiful. Uh, and I really enjoyed also making this uh, paper. It's the first time I actually make a collage paper by myself. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, why haven't I done that before? There was some time when I was trying to make small pieces of tissue paper, but that was a long time ago. I was using uh, very bad uh, quality stamps. That was actually the stamps which I carved by myself at home, which you can do, of course. And this is also a very um, good idea to save some money. But, you know, uh, sometimes you need to, you know, you would like to, for example, buy a... Um, let's say Tim Holtz uh, collage paper and you cannot find it or you cannot afford it or you just need a tiny piece of that and not the whole roll it's just if you for example have uh, already his stamps he has also a very nice uh, you know sets of stamps you can use them to make your own tissue paper you can probably use even stencils you know it's just you have to be careful because tissue paper is quite uh, delicate and uh, or just use any other things, you know, uh, to uh, just work, just build up your own uh, beautiful collage. Here I'm even trying uh, <laughs> to clean my uh, stamping block, which is dirty. I am a dirty crafter, I have to say. I love 
when things are clean but uh you know when i'm when i'm doing my art journaling pages i just don't want to waste time on you know doing things properly and very cleanly because i just go with the flow but then i love everything to, uh, when everything is clean and this is also uh something i found out by myself even though i'm sure that people know about it but for those of you who don't uh, you know the uh, cleaning solution for your hands the alcohol alcoholic one it's very very good for removing all the uh, permanent um, permanent inks well, be sure also to dry a little bit your collage paper so uh, especially with the um, with the versafine ink it dries quite long so you know you can make uh, kind of smudges if you don't do it and uh, recently I bought a very very cheap um, kind of uh, you know paysage format uh, paysage format notebooks which have um, quite uh, thick pages but they are not you know like mixed media paper so I decided to try and work with them and this is gonna be my very first page in this notebook. I think they cost like 90 cents. Um, so I just took three of them because I, I love this kind of uh, also art journaling, uh, kind of like in the paysage uh, format. It's uh, I find that it's different uh, than the square one or rectangular or uh, regular ones, you know, we, we usually do. And uh, I decided to prep the pages with the matte gel because anyway I wanted to, you know, uh, glue the pieces of the um, tissue paper. So matte gel is perfect for that. I think a uh, Mod Podge would work also, but I actually never work with Mod Podge because I'm not uh, USA based and I know that this is the, you know, the glue to go for in uh, USA, I think. Uh, but I'm using matte gel. This one's from Pebo, I love it. And I'm kind of crink crinkling. <laughs> I think it's a good word, I'm not 100% sure. But that's what I'm trying to do, you know, with the tissue paper. It even to it even got torn, if you can see here. And I was not sure what kind of color I'm gonna uh, choose for this uh, page. But I've no idea why my palette knife, even though I really looked at it closely, it must have had some powder on it from I have no idea where and I got some uh, red powder transfer or red paint transfer I swear to you guys it was clean but sometimes you know when you work you just you know there could be a small piece of you know of powder wherever <laughs> paint which you actually cannot see and that's what's happened so well, I'm gonna go for a kind of reddish page, I think. <laughs> I uh, had to dry everything. And you know, when you do the collaging, it's also very good to uh, put the glue on the top of the tissue paper. So like that, it's protected from both sides and also the, um, how do you call it? The uh, match gel works like a little bit like gesso, so there is less um, warping, less seepage. And I'm using two powders from um, Paper Artsy, Terracotta and Raspberry, if I'm not mistaken. Once again, the list, the full list of products you're gonna find in the description box below. And you're gonna see me again making a big mistake, a rocky mistake. I shouldn't have done that, but of course, uh, I'm me. <laughs> Sometimes uh, it's just I switch off my brain when I'm doing uh, art journaling, I have to tell you honestly. So I sprayed on both kind of, uh, but no, I put the powder on one page on the right hand side. But when you spray with water, the powder, of course, uh, flies. And it, I got some transfer on the very, on the first page. And so, you know, finally, I decided uh, just my brain started to work, and I decided to close the book and, and just, you know, uh, spray on one side. <laughs> so like that, the first page is not uh, that red. But probably one day I'm gonna just use it, and uh, which I'm gonna use with also red colors on it. And so now I am uh, doing my focal element, elements, which comes from my uh, set of stamps, uh, Flowers on Edge. I stamped uh, two pots and I'm gonna add the third one, which is uh, all small, and I'm gonna cut them all out and those are gonna be my focal points. I did stamp the pots a few times, the big ones, uh, because, well, uh, I had a grainy paper, the one which you can see here. 
and they didn't print it uh, as well uh, the first time around so the third one uh, is the charm and then I uh, dried a little bit in the meantime my page and I start cutting uh, them out and to cut my things out I am using uh, now always uh, Tom, Tim Holtz scissors they are the serrated uh, scissors and I have them into sizes the short ones are to cut the small elements that's the ones I'm using right now and the long ones are to cut uh, like for example straight lines uh, sentiments and things like that uh, while I was trying from the other side uh, from underneath the page I realized that uh, it actually I got actually a little bit of seepage um, despite much gel but as I said to you, this is not a mixed media paper, this is not a watercolor paper. So this was just a regular notebook with the papers which are uh, a little bit thicker than the, um, than the sketchbook, for example. So that's why I decided actually to glue two pages together to uh, first of all cover um, the, uh, you know, the seepage but also to get the page a little bit sturdy and please do not even you know i cannot really explain what's happening with my craft knife right now i got some kind of a, a brownish transfer on it and i clean it so i seriously <laughs> don't know sometimes there is just somewhere there is just this tiny piece of paint which gets stuck to i don't know what and gets transferred, I don't know why, to my <laughs> old pristine pages. It's very annoying, but it happens. <laughs> you have to live with that. So that's what I decided to do. Glue two pages together uh, to keep them uh, well glued because the first one is already a little bit warped. I use the paper clips uh, like that. I'm sure that, uh, you know, they are well done. Like, you know, they, they will glue well. Oh, that's the good word. I was not sure actually if I shouldn't do this page uh, in the vertical way, but finally I decided to do it horizontal because anyway, uh, you know, the pots work better with horizontal, uh, you know, layout. And I'm using Nouveau Deluxe uh, adhesive to uh, glue the pots to the page. And that would be almost the end of it. Uh, you know, I'm kind of making the pots you know not to be perfectly aligned there is one which is on top of the uh, other glued a little bit on top of the other so like that it gives a little bit extra to the page and i'm using um a very 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 black <laughs> pencil to kind of uh how to call it you know uh, it's just oh i don't have the word but just make kind of a ground, you know, ground to ground the pots <laughs> uh, to the page. I'm thinking it must be quite annoying for you uh, uh, from time to time to hear me struggling with the English, but well, I'm doing my best. Uh, it's already it's uh, kind of nerve-wracking to do the video when I know that there is a camera recording and then to do, to do the voiceover when I know I'm making mistakes and I want to explain things and sometimes I think I don't speak enough or I speak way too much and I'm making mistakes or uh, I'm speaking completely or you know crazy 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 <laughs> but well um, that's me and so uh, I liked the grinding part of the <laughs> process but I didn't like kind of this you know like semicircle in the middle. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but you're gonna see uh, because I cover that later with a piece of uh, sentiment. So, or just simply with a sentiment. <laughs> and I decided to frame it a little bit, but to be a little bit, uh, uh, or to make things a little bit different than normally, I just framed it from two sides. And for the last touch, uh, I use the sentiment from my Super Messy Words. And I have to tell you that the sentiments quite often help me to cover my mistakes. So in this case, I'm gonna place it on this kind of a sphere uh, on my page. And that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I, if you make any type of collage paper, I would like so much uh, to see it. So if you can tag me on Instagram, I would be very, very happy to see it. And I'm sending you all big hugs and wishing you a beautiful day. 
If you didn't subscribe to my channel and you like what I do, uh, please do so. I'll be so happy and uh, hit the notification bell button. Hmm, I forgot about that. <laughs> so I added some splatter. And to add some splatter, I use Winsor and Newton white china ink. And that is really the last, the last piece of information for this page. Guys, I'm gonna leave you like that. And uh, once again, sending you big hugs. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.